Hello. We're going to talk today about accepting emotions. You know, it's very common for us to not want to accept our emotions. We may think this isn't how it was supposed to be. This isn't how it should go. And then we try to fix it or to control it, to manipulate the moment to be what we think it should be. This deep rooted belief that things are not the way they should be triggers us to try to change reality to make things right. So for example, if we feel sad, we may try to force ourselves to cheer up and get in a better mood, changing a negative feeling into a positive one and kind of ignoring that root feeling. The opposite of this is the ability to let reality be what it really is. The willingness to allow reality to be how it currently is in this now. So acceptance forces us to realize there's a difference between what's going on and how we want it to be. We become aware of our physical sensations and our thoughts as well. Becoming aware of maybe tension in our body, resistance, and the emotions we attach to what's happening right now. So when we are finding ourselves in a situation we don't really like, this makes us uncomfortable or unhappy. Maybe it's physical, maybe it's emotional. Our first step is to become aware of how we feel physically, emotionally, and see if we can give ourselves a little space to let this be what it is rather than try to change it. Can we just be with this tension, this discomfort? Can we sit in it for a moment? Can we see the thoughts going through our heads and just watch them? letting them be a part of our current reality. This is making contact with the present moment, where we are, right here, right now. This is the fundamental process of acceptance. Now, talking about acceptance can be like learning to play the violin by reading books about it. In reality, though, we need practice. We need experience. Can you allow yourself to experience the sadness, the discomfort, maybe regret or just insecurity? This is not an easy practice to adopt. It's something you learn by doing and with practice. Over time, with practicing acceptance, we feel these emotions and physical sensations less and less as we gain the skills necessary to practice acceptance and just let things be what they are. It doesn't make the experience go away. It allows you to cultivate a healthier relationship with your feelings. You allow yourself to experience the emotions. They don't go away. We allow them to be present. We don't fight with them, but your response to them may be easier to live with, maybe easier to accept. For some people though, it's really important to start small. It's not a good idea to work with a traumatic experience until you've had lots of practice. Digging deep right away can bring up a certain amount of intensity that maybe you're not ready to handle. So start with experiences that you can handle practicing with. When an experience comes too overwhelming, try that stop method. Stop what you're doing. Take a breath. Observe what's happening to you right now where you are and then respond to that appropriately. In this case, returning to that breath is a way to bring your attention back to a neutral place that gives you a little distance from the experience without trying to suppress it. You may also use self-reflection to help put things into perspective. Are you really experiencing what is happening in the now, or are you trying to change or ignore your reality? Asking some questions of yourself can be very powerful and a way to step back and be objective about the situation. Much of the time we're struggling or worrying, we may be just fighting the way things are and trying to change them rather than accepting what is right now. This is really powerful stuff. As I said, start small and give yourself some room to explore it. Over time, you're going to see some changes happening and you're gonna see yourself being less reactive and more accepting of what's going on right now. Thank you.